That's right, uh, Babita, particularly in the northern part of the country, which is experiencing some of the coldest weather in decades. And snowstorms in the capital of Wellington and in Auckland are the biggest for almost 50 years. And the blizzards disrupted services across the North Island. Some flights have been canceled and major roads closed. To tell us more, I'm joined from the BBC Weather Center by one of our forecasters, Susan Powell. Uh, Susan, uh, snow falling in parts of New Zealand that haven't seen snow in, in decades. It is indeed a once-in-a-lifetime, I think, event for some. I think we'll probably never see a storm, uh, storm with that extent again across the whole of New Zealand. Once every 50 years, perhaps, we see something like this. You saw some of the images there in the report. Exceptional scenes, as you said, particularly for the North Island. The South Island, particularly with the Southern Alps, more likely to see some snowfall. But for the North Island, I think it's probably brought quite a lot of happiness for some people. Very different scenes, but we've also incurred a lot of disruption. So some pretty wide-ranging impacts. And we're not done yet. I think that's the most important message to bring here. Let's just take a look at what this storm has meant for New Zealand. As you said, one of the biggest storms we've seen in 50 years, certainly in terms of the extent of the country it's affected. And for Auckland, people haven't seen snowfall here since the 1930s. So as I said, it is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Disruption pretty wide-ranging, though. Severe weather warnings are still in place for a large portion of the country. And it's not just the snow causing problems, but a bitter southerly wind. So that really is taking the edge off the temperatures, making it feel bitingly cold and also blowing all that snow around. Blizzard conditions, a lot of snow on the power lines, strong winds, power coming down in some areas and a lot of problems with travel as well on the roads. But also Dunedin Airport in the south has pretty much ground to a halt. So how do we end up here? Well, it takes a couple of factors to give us a big snowstorm, a big area of low pressure, and we've certainly seen one of those at the surface as three areas of low pressure combined into one, and also a pocket of cold air, which is what we've had trapped by the polar jet stream, this pocket here in this upside-down horseshoe that's been sitting across New Zealand and is still hanging on in there now. And it's as the low pressure has run in with that very cold air that we have produced, instead of what would normally have been perhaps some heavy winter rainfall, some very significant snow. And the the outlook as we move into the middle part of this week still has the low pressure close by, still the cold air as well. So Tuesday night, I think a difficult one. And as we go through Wednesday, some very lively showers following on behind. Very unstable air. Reports of some big claps of thunder along with those snow showers in the last 24 hours. Better news for the end of the week. High pressure builds. The southerly wind will start to ease. It shouldn't feel as cold. And I don't think we're going to see any more falling snow then through latter Thursday and into Friday. But with clear skies, we can expect some pretty severe frost. So winter continues, but hopefully we'll start to see the problems with the falling snow easing off towards the end of the week. Susan Powell from the BBC Weather Centre. Thank you so much for that update.